Hey everyone, we are busy in the studio today. Terry is finishing up five years number five. It goes to the printer tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we leave for Ghent, Belgium to uh, Terry is a guest at Fax, which is on October 19th and 20th. So if you're in the area, come out and see him. He will be happy to speak English to you. <laughs> Uh, one other little housekeeping note, we have an update on the SIP Omnibus that's being reprinted. Everybody that's ordered one is, I'm sure, anxious to get their copy. Um, the printer is woefully behind, but the books are being printed and should be in on the water next week, which will put them here very late November or early December, and we promise you that we will get them out the day we receive them. But they are gorgeous. So that's moving along just at a slower pace than we had hoped for. Mm -hmm. So um, let's get to our questions. Okay. The first one is from a reader who asked, is there a particular order you'd recommend reading the Terry verse? Well, the order that I wrote it was Strangers in Paradise, Echo, Rachel Rising, Motor Girl, Strangers in Paradise 25, and then five years. So that's the perfect reading order, but that's like 20 years of TV. So just catch the show when you can. You know, find the issue that you can while you're um, in front of it, grab it, read it. There's just too many of them to track them down and read them all in order now, I think. So enjoy what you can find. And um, if you have the luxury of getting them all and reading them in order, that would be great, but don't let it hold you back from reading. <laughs> don't you think that you could read um, Rachel Rising, Motor Girl, even, and Echo specifically on your own? You don't have to read them in any certain order. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you don't have to read them in any particular order um, when it comes to Motor Girl and Rachel Rising because they, they're standalone stories. Um, they do. They have a place in the big picture, but they are standalone stories. You go to their own little town, a new set of characters, it's their story. Um, so enjoy it for that. And then the fact that it also fits into our larger universe, well, that's just seems natural to me. So. so don't you think you could uh, read those independently? But mm -hmm. I think the pocket books, the pocket editions, need to be read in order. Uh, yeah, you're right, because the Strangers in Paradise pocket books are, they're even numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so, yeah, it'd be really good to read those in order. But if you're stuck at a summer house for a week and all you see is book four, read it. Okay. You hear that? Read it. <laughs> That's my recommendation. So, um, the next question is from a reader who wants to know what what is the ratio of pen to brush you use, and how do you decide whether to use the pen or the brush? Wow, that's a good question. <sighs> I don't know the ratio. Um, you know, if it's larger panels like this, then there's an awful lot of brush here uh, for the big figures. But when I get into the little details of, you know, a face, that's a pen. Uh, that's just too small for brush. So I would say in my case, it's probably 60, 40, maybe 61, 39 <laughs> for 60, 60% 60 brush. Oh. Um, and I use a Raphael number one. And then I use a Hunt 102 dip pen, um, which I actually don't like, but I've just always used it and I know how to get the different line weights out of it. And then when I just want straight ruling lines uh, with no line width um, changing, I just use the Microns. I use the Microns because they don't bleed. Uh, they're better than the uh, Faber-Castell, which is strange for me to say because I absolutely adore their pencil. The Faber-Castell pencil is my tool, but... Hey, when we were in New York, didn't somebody bring you a Faber-Castell pencil to sign? Yeah, um, 
you know, this is, I always say my pencil. So you can only get this in Europe. And a couple of people have ordered it from a, you know, an office supply store in London or something and just to have one. And somebody brought me one in New York and I actually had signed it. So now it's like my signature pencil. So I'm expecting to get millions of dollars in endorsements from Faber-Castell, or at least a free pencil. A free pencil would be good. But I have the one that I drew all of my books with. It's on the shelf next to my Kachu statue. Uh, this is actually a uh, road traveling version that I use. It's my backup, number two. So now I've been drawing all of five years with number two. So. You didn't ask for my opinion, but I like it when you use the brush. I like the thicker line and the heavier blacks. That's just my personal opinion. Actually, your opinion has a lot of weight with me. So <laughs> that's why I've been trying to use more brush. The brush. I'm talking to you, Robin. I like that. Yeah. Uh, so because there's more blacks and weight. Also, you're doing something a little different starting with the issue five of five years, aren't you? You're putting uh, stuff in the back of the book where we usually put ads. You're putting art or um, script pages or um, just different things that are not going to be in the trades. That's right. So uh, to see those things, you have to buy the individual issues. What she said. I want the comic book to be a lot of fun, uh, like a magazine with a lot of things in it. So instead of, uh, I'm going to stop putting those ads that I've always run in the back back pages and put... All this other stuff that we have sitting here in my notebooks and all this art and the sketches that I'm collecting and the things that I write, the silly things. So, yeah, uh, we want to do that and, and make the comic a lot of fun. That doesn't necessarily fit in with the trade, but uh, it makes for a really fun comic book. And I want you guys, I urge you guys to start picking up the, comic, the single issues because that's where the fun's going to be. Okay, well, I need to go pack for Belgium. And you need to finish this book, so we will see you guys. Sounds good. Uh, next week we'll be in Ghent mm -hmm. next Sunday, but we'll pre-record one. Or maybe we'll do it there. Let's do it from Ghent. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll see you guys next Sunday.